Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We've heard about putting salad in mason jars, but what mm -hmm. about dessert? Mm. A mason jar is ideal, and you don't have to worry about devouring a whole pie. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, all your family and guests will be impressed by the presentation. Please welcome pastry chef and the owner of Lush Yummy's Pie Company, hey. Jennifer Lyles. It's so you? good. I'm good. It's good to have you here. Yes, I'm so glad to be here. Yes, this is awesome. This is awesome. So what are we going to be making today? Yes, so we're taking my granddad's signature lemon butter pie. Uh -huh. It's a mix between lemon meringue and cheesecake. And we're just going to take it and put it in a mason jar today. Okay, so what's the first step to making this delicious dessert? Okay, well, first of all, you got to get the pie. Yes. Okay, so we have our pre-baked lemon butter pie. Uh -huh. And then what I did was I just broke up all of the content of the ah, pie. Ah, that makes sense. That right? makes sense. Okay. Really easy. Okay. So I literally take my crust. I have a little scoop here. Yeah. It's literally oh, like, a, make one. like an ice cream scoop. Yes. Yes, that's great. So you said this is your grandfather's recipe. Yes, your my granddad. Your granddad makes? He my granddad, bread. he had a farm with his mother uh -huh. um, in Birmingham, Alabama. Can I use this? Yes, yes, this? please. Oh, yeah, Birmingham, ahead. Alabama. Yeah, and he used to make these pies with his mother. Okay. They would pass them out to community members, and they just would love these pies. I, my family members used to fight over these pies. Really? And my granddad wasn't able to, you know, make his pie dreams a reality. He actually ended up working for a plant for 30 years, wow. and he passed on his recipes to me. That is awesome. And you said, let me run with this, because everybody yeah. Yes. Loves, everybody loves this particular pie. Yes. Mine is not going to be as pretty as yours. It's I'm okay. Get that back. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. So how did you say, how did you get into baking? And tell us a little bit more about that process for you. Yeah, you know, I actually used to um, bake for my family and friends. Mm -hmm. um, I also was a high school teacher right here in oh, Atlanta, Georgia. Really? I know. And I used to um, help my cheerleaders to uh, raise money uh -huh. for their uniforms, and so I would help them bake. And uh -huh. then after I graduated from Howard, I went on to culinary school and then came back to Detroit and started making my granddad's pies. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, what's the next step after So that? now after you put all your content in your mason jar, you can shake that up a little bit. Uh -huh. um, I just make these little tags right on my computer at home. I had some pre-cut string, okay. hole punch. This is like really DIY. Yes, I okay. see. Let me have that. Mm -hmm. Happy and then I just take, yes, it's happy holidays. You can put whatever little message on it. My family likes to call me the hostess with the most. Oh, so you're I try like to, that girl. I'm that girl. Really? So I try to put like cute little stuff out. Yes. Um, and so we just, you know, okay, let's decorate do the table. While we're doing that. Now, I heard Martha Stewart likes your pies. She did. She had them for her birthday really? last year. I was so excited about that. Was it that. like random or did you send her some? Or you what? know, we did, I was in a food documentary with Refinery29 okay. um, last summer. And and one of the uh, producers on the show, she saw that um, mm -hmm. we had another, she had another friend who was really close to Martha Stewart. And so yes. she wanted her to try the pie and she told her about it and she called me on three-way. Wow. Well, Martha Stewart, that's the closest I got to her, but what? Um, she asked me to ship them to her for her birthday and she had a little party with her friends and and then she that shouted you out and all I that know. kind of stuff. It was amazing. Really? So, I mean, you, as a small business owner, you are, you want to help other people. You actually have a pitch competition that you um, have authored. Tell everybody about yeah. that and how you, why, why it's so important to help small business owners. Yeah, so when I first started my business, I didn't have any money and I started like watching Shark Tank and different things like that, trying to figure out how to raise funding and I started participating in pitch competitions uh -huh. and I lost four and I won about 14 okay. pitch competitions. I've raised well over about 250,000 uh -huh. um, in pitches and so I was like, well, I think that I should try to help some other people. People started to reach out, say, hey, can you help me with my pitch? Can you help me do pitch competitions? And so I was like, well, maybe I should make this a class. Yeah. And I started a pitch class. You can um, go to our website, toldbygen.com. Mm -hmm. You can register for our pitch classes, and we're just helping women especially to women get their color. funding yeah, yeah. for their businesses. That yeah. is fantastic. Now, my end result looks nothing like yours, <laughs> uh, but, but it's great. It's, it's great. beautiful anyway. It's like, a thought that counts. Yes, absolutely. So 
so you know, we always like to, to highlight Black Girl Magic here on the show. And like, you're actually about to open up an, another location. Yes. 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 That's so exciting. So we're right in Detroit's historical Easter Market. Yeah. We're opening up a new production facility along with Easter Market's incubator yes. um, project, and I'm really excited. We're opening up a brick and mortar. It's very small. Yes. And our production facility, we we wholesale right now to like Kroger, Westbourne, That's Holiday, awesome. and Meyer. That is so good. Check yes. your, your granddaddy's recipe. Okay. And you made yourself an I'm amazing trying. entrepreneur. What advice would you give to small business owners? Because somebody's going to see this segment and say, you know yeah. what, I can do it too. Um, I would just say just to keep trying. It's going to be so many obstacles that yes. kind of come on your way. And I think that what has um, helped me to be successful as I have been with the pies is that just the resilience that yes. I've had. And baby, this baby is very persistent <laughs> and consistent <laughs> with everything that she does. I'm very happy for you. And I know Thank your you family so is, is elated that you've taken your grandfather's mm -hmm. recipe and really mm -hmm. been able to pour back into your family and the lives of so many others. So thank you so yes, much, Jennifer. Thank you so yes. much. If you want some of these delicious pies, yes. make sure you go to lushyummiespie.co to order your pie That's today. Right. Let's give it up for Jennifer Lyles. Thank you.